Hi, I'm Michelle Neerman, and I am so excited and honored by the opportunity to follow Ted Townsend as president and CEO of this region. You know, I've been here for 24 years, and never in my wildest imagination did I think I'd have the opportunity to stay here, to grow in place, to begin as an administrative fellow, and then have the opportunity to work with all of you in such an incredible organization. I'm really looking forward to the chance to get to know you all better. So I grew up in a small town in central Illinois, about 5,000 people. It was a great community to grow up in. It was kind of one of those places where you could do everything, you know, even if you weren't very good at it. So you could be in the musical, you could do the sports, you could do the drill team. And I did, because I was kind of a joiner. That's a little bit about who I am and uh, who I've always been. You know, my mom and dad um, worked hard too. Uh, they taught me the value of hard work. They taught me the value of always trying your best, and uh, that has stuck with me for a lot of years. My dad worked in an ag-related kind of company. My mom was a beautician, had a shop in our home for a while, and then years later made a little bit of a shift. She was a pharmacy technician. She worked in our small rural hospital, and she worked in a big hospital kind of the size of St. Luke's. I also had an aunt who was pretty influential on me. Um, she was a nurse. She was a nurse for 45 years, and one of the things that she did along the way when I was a little girl was that she was the director of nursing for our local community hospital. And I didn't understand that very well at the time, um, but I knew that Aunt Rosie had a big job that meant a lot to patients, family, and our community. And I kind of tucked that away and it came back a little later on. I also worked in that same rural hospital. I worked in dining services. It was uh, hard work. It was hot back there in the dish room. But even then, I had a little bit of a sense that there was something a little more to it than uh, just what I was doing. There were people that we were taking care of, people that needed us. And I really liked that sense of team, even as a teenager many years ago. So once I decided that uh, pursuing that uh, master's degree in healthcare administration was what I wanted to do, I needed to figure out where I was going to go. And I looked around at a few different places and found the University of Iowa. So I came to the University of Iowa in 1992 and started my studies there and was fortunate enough to get connected with St. Luke's Hospital. So actually my second year of grad school, I started doing some work up here kind of as an intern and I was lucky enough that uh, after a long time of not doing so, the next year St. Luke's decided to offer what's called an administrative fellowship. It's just really a wonderful experience for people that pursue that kind of study um, to after finishing school um, come to an organization and really get to spend some time with the senior your leadership team and to learn more about healthcare organizations really from the inside out. And then I was lucky again because what was supposed to be a one-year fellowship turned into a two-year fellowship and then all of a sudden it's 24 years later and here I am. I am so lucky. I've got to see so many things as part of Unity Point Cedar Rapids. I've worked in so many parts of the organization. I spent some time out at Jones Regional Medical Center back when they were Anamosa Community Hospital. I spent some time working with home care and with our living centers. Uh, more recently, I had a role working with our Unity Point Clinics as the Vice President of Clinic Operations. So I have had the immense good fortune of being part of not only St. Luke's, but really at, at different points in time, almost every part of our Unity Point Cedar Rapids family. I just couldn't be luckier. I couldn't be more excited for this opportunity. I couldn't be more honored to have the opportunity to lead the organization going forward. I've grown up here. I've grown up here personally. I've grown up here professionally. From a personal perspective, both my kids were born here. How lucky is that? I actually was involved in some of the work to help develop the Center for Women's and Children's Health. And then about a year after it opened, our son Alex was born here. He's 16 now. And then two years later, our daughter Ella came along and uh, it's just been such a treat to be able to of course as we all enjoy watch our kids grow um, and watch them grow part of as part of this larger unity point family